one. I've heard a lot of poems that begin with the number one, <laughs> then continue in a numbered sequence. I wonder if there is a name for poems such as these. Two. My intrigue has set me to write at least one poem in this numbered structure. Three. I, I feel I should find out more about this numbered structure. Four. I asked my friend Dave Kaili if he knows the name of this sort of sequenced poetry. Five. He does not. <laughs> Six, I send a text message to my friend Victor Infante, a friend and most notable culprit of this style of poetry. He responds with, I don't know offhand, but I will research it when I get home. Seven, I assume he is driving. I feel let down by his unknowing. He has failed me for the first and probably not the last time. I worry about his ability to drive safely while sending me a text message and while being so unaware of things in life. <laughs> Eight, I miss his phone call 20 minutes later. I call him back. He explains that there is some contention in the literary world as to the true name of this style of poetry, but all agree that the sections between the numbers are cantos. <laughs> yeah. Nine, this is a canto. <laughs> 10, so is this. <laughs> 11, Ezra Pound is notable for writing a long love poem consisting of 120 cantos. 12, that's way too many cantos. 13, this style of poetry often feels like an easy way to just tie together a bunch of unrelated topics. 14, I am not as interested in this style of poetry anymore. I would much rather my poetry ha had a consistent theme. It would be too easy to veer away from the initial concept of the poem. It would, you know, to maintain the original content yet allow it to grow beyond the first verse, to express myself while seeking resolve, solution, and or catharsis. 15, it saddens me when pet owners put sweaters and hats on their pets. 16, I cannot break dance. <laughs> 17, I should never write one of these poems again since I don't know how to end them. <laughs> 18, weird cursing is hilarious, always has been, and is also not a good way to end a poem, especially when it ends awkwardly and abruptly. 19, shit lips and short boners. 